Isn't that boy tired of kicking the tyre every day? Oh, it's Majid. He loves his football. You will like that too. Yeah, when you were young, your brother asked you to go for violin lessons. Where did you go? <laughs> Play football. <laughs> hey, I was very dedicated to football. I had a purpose. <laughs> Kids like to play around. Maybe they have a purpose too. That's why he's playing every day. What's the use of playing every day? How to improve if you're playing by yourself? Did you see his form? So many mistakes. True. Maybe you should give him some advice. Uh, why should I find trouble for myself? Not everybody wants help. He's just a young boy playing around. Come, Lim Kopi. Boy, some water. Thank you, Uncle. Lousy. Uncle, lousy. Your form wrong. So unnecessary. Uncle, do you even play football? How to be better than Rahim Omar? I will be better than Rahim Omar. By kicking this tyre? Uncle, you don't know anything, huh? You won't be better even if you practice every day. You don't have flair with your footwork. I don't see your talent with the ball. You want to be better than Rahim Omar, but you never thought about how. Football is not just about blindly practicing every day and you become better. It's about how creative you are with what you have. Uncle, don't act like you know football. Football is my life. Thank you for the water. With this kind of attitude, how to be better? You want to be good, think of what I've said. Bancut lah, apa pun tak bagus-bagus apa. Ha. Eh. Eh, Jen, kau ni dah kenapa ni? Aku suruh kau jemur baju, tu jemurlah betul-betul. Kau ni kenapa? Eh, budak ni, jemurlah baju betul-betul. Dah kenapa dengan kau ni, Jen? Kenapa semua marah majik ni? Ini buat betul-betul pun kena marah. Main bola betul-betul pun kena marah. Aku suruh kau jemur baju. Bukan suruh kau fikir pasal bola. Kepala otak kau tu asyik fikir bola, bola, bola. Tak ada benda lain ke? Eish, budak ni. What are you doing? Are you blind? This road is for walking, not for playing football.
he won't be better even if you practice every day. You okay? Ah, uh, see. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. He'll be all right. Calm down. Calm uh, down. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, Ah, 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 Nothing la, just a small injury. Uncle, you don't know anything. If anything happens to my leg, how am I going to be a football player? If something like this can break you, then you're not worth a pinch of salt. Uncle, what are you talking about? You don't know how important football is to me. It's just a game. It's not! It's not! It's not just a game. It's my dream. I want to be a football player. Football player? Who are you? Uncle, today, I'm a nobody. Someday, I will be somebody. How? Practice every day. Ah! Ah! If practice every day is of any good, then anyone can be a football player. Uncle, what is your problem? You know what I see? I see a boy with heart, but no direction. I know you love to play. I know you love football. But you never thought about how. How you can be better than Rahim Omar. Uncle, don't waste my time. I am not wasting your time. Now, I'm only going to tell you this once. I want you to train under me. Within the year, you will be playing in the national team. Singapore's top scorer of the season has done it again. Just when you need him, he comes up with the all the George Sapaya, the only Singapore referee to officiate in the World Cup Finals, pays tribute to some of the stars of the 1960s. Majid and Ryan could have easily walked into any division side in England anytime, at their best. There's no doubt about it. In fact, Detmar Krama has once said that Majid Arif has had eyes behind his I know, head, that he could see any time, and he was such a great player. Indeed, the 1965 Cup-winning team was considered the best ever, having finished fourth in the 1966 Asian Games in Bangkok, Singapore's best international achievement till today. 
soccer experts declared that there could be no greater team. The man who made it all possible was coach Chu Sang Kui, a shrewd tactician who inspired the Lions to the pinnacle of success, Malaysia Cup supremacy. At that time, a young, exceptionally talented Fandi Ahmad began to make an impression, especially in the first Lion City Cup. Here was the player who would lead Singapore to their last Malaysia Cup in 1980. 